So in the last video, I showed you how to find and integrate custom paintbrushes, and I took the liberty of adding a couple that I liked. So now I'm gonna show you some basic techniques that allow you to create a spot coloring effect. In print photography, this would be painting translucent color onto a black and white photograph. So here we go. We're gonna create a new layer, and we're gonna call it spot painting. Let's find our jumper and create a new adjustment layer and make sure it's hue and saturation. Call it runner sat. Press OK. It already directly connects to the layer, so that's good. And we want to drop the saturation down to the bottom. Now you'll notice that because I also have a color balance adjustment layer that I already made changes to, he's blue. So, if you don't want him to be blue, just turn it off and he's black and white now. I'm gonna keep it black and white for demonstration purposes, but do whatever you want. That's the beauty of Photoshop. Now, we're gonna go back to our spot painting layer. We're gonna grab the brush tool. We're going to pick out a brush that would be interesting and we're gonna make it larger. We're gonna make sure the opacity is at 50% because we want it to be translucent. And I picked out this color right here, which is kind of a dim yellow. Press OK. And just start vaguely brushing over his pants. And I can't stress enough how important it is to not make this perfect. Okay, so that's pretty good. You can go over it a little bit again or twi twice to create different cool effects. And now go to our blending options in our layer panel and select color burn. And you get this wonderful effect. It definitely fills in co contrast and creates for some wonderful imagery. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in because I think it's gonna look better that way. But otherwise that's it. You can fill in the rest of his skin, his shirt, his shoes, whatever you want, and it can create some really wonderful effects that I really encourage you to try. So the last thing we're going to do is talk about custom fonts and how to manipulate fonts in different ways.